Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review the latest update for Nusandra Raw. We have received the Android 13 and this is the second update of Android 13 of Nusandra ROM for Poco M3. Now to begin with, let us try to try to take a look at the launcher. As you go to the settings, you can see there are some customizations or, or customizations available for the launcher which looks pretty much useful and uh, which is really great too. So these all are the customization options that are available with your icons, home screen customization and app drawer than miscellaneous. Yeah, there isn't much in miscellaneous but really uh, some random stuff. Now coming to the kit settings, you can see that the kit settings has been modified and there is a new uh, kind of user interface that's been given for the kit settings. Um, this is something that we are familiar with the Nusandra Android 12 ROM 2. Now co coming to the app drawer, the ROM that's been available for our device is uh, equipped with the gapps but it is not bloated with quite a lot of gapps but yeah some useful stuff only. These are the applications which I use regularly on the ROM and Google Pay or Phone Pay the banking application uh, works without any issues uh, since I have not rooted. So if you are rooted make sure to hide the or enable the SIG disk. Now coming to the settings page you can see that uh, it is something similar to the Android uh, 12 version. So uh, they keep the same user interface or user layout for the uh, settings uh, page. Now coming to the uh, Nusandra Wings which is the customization for that ROM. You can see it offers game space. So something if you are a um, game player or something like that you can use uh, many of these options. I don't play games so I don't normally use these sort of options. Now coming to the themes you can see uh, Nusandra blur style. So you can enable blur if you want to system themes you, there are a couple of themes available icon shapes then dynamic system bars um, then a couple of uh, things that are related with the monad then notification there is rate ticker available with the notification miscellaneous you get a swipe to screenshot double tap to sleep and stuff like that then lock screen items, uh, you can choose a couple of custom lock screen clocks and fingerprint preferences, nothing is there. Battery options, you can choose to have different battery styles and you can also determine where you want to display the uh, battery text left or right of the icon. Then clock option, there is no background chip option available for the clock which I hope they will add future updates then icon managers you can put the custom logos onto the status bar if you prefer to do that then tuner status bar icon then coming to the kick settings you can see you can enable dual tone um, background colors for the kick settings or else if you want to enable the kick settings tint, you can use that you can enable clear or notification buttons and you can adjust the brightness slider position also then traffic indicators then finally the Nusantra wings last customization is hardware buttons and navigation so system navigation is there just around the three button navigation so that is about the customization part of the ROM uh, let us now go to the security options and try to see a screen lock is available I mean uh, yeah pin is available fingerprint is available so let us go to the more security settings and uh, uh, the, the, the ROM is not encrypted by default there is app lock also with the um, ROM so fingerprint and uh, pin unlock is available as of now I don't think uh, it has uh, face unlock so that is about the um, about the security section and the display you come here you can change the uh, display width over here without enabling the um, developer options then battery looks uh, same and uh, sound and vibration there is no Dirac available yet in the um, ROM so let us go to the about phone section and try to see the uh, the um, 
the information about kernel and all so basically this is android version 13 the android security update is of 5th of november and the kernel version is 4.19.265 green force and the kernel is pretty much amazing it is very smooth and um, it is having very good user experience also so this is my review about the rom uh, the rom is really great the rom is smooth many thanks to the maintainer of the rom uh, for compiling it for our our device and it's really great rom if you want to use it as a daily driver of course you can use it as a daily driver once again i would like to thank you for watching my rom review and if you uh, like my videos please make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the bell button so that you won't miss future updates thank you